Welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we're gonna be getting into a drop my mic there. <laughs> today we're gonna be getting into a pretty long video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. But basically, we are, I've been seeing a bunch some people in the review movie review um, field on YouTube and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of these videos, so I figure I'd do it. Um, but to fit in with my channel, so we're gonna be doing an entire DVD collection. Um, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all that stuff. Um, but it's gonna be strictly horror related. Um, so obviously the video is a little bit too higher up, you can't see, but there is a shitload here. And this is gonna be an extremely long video. So hope you guys enjoy this kind of thing and let's get right into it. Um, they're kinda in order, like alphabetical order. That won't last very long, but we'll go ahead and start. So we'll start, we'll start with the end. We'll start with Z's. So first up is um, Zombieland. Um, just the normal DVD. I don't know if they made a 4K for this, but I feel like this would be a really cool movie for 4K. Um, fantastic movie, one of my favorite zombie movies. As you guys, if you've seen my other videos, I reviewed this recently. Um, next, kind of a, um, I think I've talked about this a little bit in some other videos. But kind of an interesting, surprising movie, actually. And it's called You Might Be the Killer. Um, it's got uh, Allison Hannigan from Buffy and stuff like that. And Fran Kranz, which you can see right there, which was the stoner character from um, Cabin in the Woods. Um, if you're big into horror movies, definitely check this one out. Get it on digital or something like that. It's super cheap. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for some of these movies if, you, if I think you guys haven't seen it. But definitely go check this out. Amazing movie for low quality. Um, next, When a Stranger Calls. Um, not much to say about that movie. I didn't like the remake all that much. Um, for remakes that we've been getting, I mean, this is an older one, obviously, but um, for the remakes of these older horror movies, not the worst one, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, here we have... Let me see. I mean, I got... Okay, I got um, <laughs> wrong turn one two three and five so all of these except for one and two is okay the rest of these are trash and they're those fucking um torture porn i guess is the best way to put them which i hate those movies um but yeah the first two pretty good after that they just kind of go downhill for me uh next we have white noise one and two um, I wasn't a massive fan of these movies. The first one is by far better than the sequel. Um, but I'm not big into those type of horror movies. A lot of these are my wife's movies. Um, next we have, this another one that's hers, uh, Woman in Black. I hated that movie. It had nothing to do with Daniel Radcliffe. I just did not like it. Um, this movie, which I just recently reviewed, World War Z. I mean, like I said, I'm just going to kind of push through some of these because there's a lot. Uh, next is Wolf Creek. Um, for these type of movies, um, I don't like hostile, wrong turn type movies. Definitely one of the better. And they made a sequel for it, which was trash, but this one's not bad. Uh, Warm Bodies, which I don't know, I'm counting as horror because it's got zombies in it. I don't know if you count as that or not. Really weird. Definitely not one of my favorite movies. I guess I could review this one. If you guys want me to review this for my zombie review series, let me know in the comments below. I didn't think about that. Um, but it's it's an interesting movie, I guess. I don't really know how to say it. But uh, Next, an amazing movie. I don't care how cheesy it is. Van Helsing. I love this movie so much. I used to watch this movie all the time when I was a kid. Next, one movie that I've never fully finished, and I probably never will. <laughs> Victor Frankenstein. Um, I mean, when you look at the back and you've seen the trailers, it looked decent. But the little bit I watched of it, I hated it. Um, one movie that is amazing. Um, it's got a sequel, which isn't as good, but still good. And that is John Carpenter's Vampires. One of his favorite, one of my favorite movies of his, honestly. Next, we have this movie, which is so ridiculous. But it's the type of ridiculous that I love for horror movies, and that is Victor Crowley. Um, this is the fourth, I think, sequel of the Hatchet series, I believe. 
I don't think it says back here. Um, I don't think so. But it's got Kane Hodder in it, who has been uh, uh, Jason Voorhees, who I'm hopefully meeting soon. So that's really the only reason I bought it and watched it, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, next, another movie that also, a lot of these movies you'll realize kind of surprised me, honestly. Um, this is one that, for what it is, it tried something different, and in my opinion, uh, succeeded in that, and that is Unfriended. The sequel isn't bad, um, honestly. I think I have it in here. I thought I had it. Maybe not. Or it could be out of order. I don't know. The sequel's not bad. It's just less horror. Like, this one's actually horror. It's a ghost in the computers, and the next one's more of, like, computer hackers. Next is, I only got two of these. I think there's like six now. A very upsetting series, honestly. Started out great with the first, like, two. And then it just went to shit bad. But that is Underworld. I think I have one. And Evolution, which I think Evolution is the second one, if I remember. Um, so these, uh, if this is the second one, I don't remember. But these two are good, in my opinion. After that, it just goes to crap, which really sucks because... I love movies with vampires and werewolves and stuff like that. Um, next, so I got a lot of movies here, so some of these I'm just going to kind of fly right through, especially ones that I don't really think have anything to discuss. Um, Urban Legends Bloody Mary, shit. <laughs> uh, next, Upgrade, which um, isn't horrible, honestly. Um, I don't, it's, it's an interesting movie, that's all I can <laughs> really say. Um, and some of these I don't even know. Cause like I so said, some of these are my wife. So like this one, I have no idea. It's the uninvited. Um, I mean, I know it's like a The Ring type movie, I'm assuming. Which are some of her favorite types of movies, which is probably why I don't know it. Next, um, a great... I don't know. I'm still kind of torn on this movie. I need to watch it. I haven't watched it since um, it left theaters. Um, but that is Us on 4K. Um... I love Get Out, and I think I wanted to love this movie so much that I didn't, honestly. But I think I was expecting so much for him that when I saw this, I just was a little disappointed. Um, next, uh, another Urban Legend. This one is Urban Legend's Final Cut. Trash, like I said, like I said but the other one. Um, this one, which honestly was probably one of the betters besides the original. A lot of people don't like it, but I actually like this one. Um, and that is Texas Chainsaw. Uh, this is a newish one, like 2013, I think it said. Uh, this was the 3D one. Um, like I said, not bad. Uh, next, we have an amazing series. All of them are just as <laughs> shitty and as amazing as the other, and that is the Trimmers. I have all five here. I think there's only five. I mean, there's five here. I think that's it. Um, these movies are horrible, but I love them. That's all I can say about those. Next, an amazing movie, and if you are a fan of horror, you should watch this movie. If you haven't, then there's something wrong with you. Trick or treat. I'm not even going to discuss it, because it's amazing. You just need to watch it. Um, trash movie, Truth or Dare, one of Blumhouse's worst movies they've ever made. Uh, next is The Thing remake. Um, a lot of people hated this one. I honestly did not mind it. It definitely is not good, as good as the original, but it wasn't that bad. <clears throat> Let's see, next we have... I was going to point both these out. We have uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I guess technically the remake, and then the beginning. Um, I honestly liked the beginning, I think, more than this one. Um, I mean, they're really not bad movies. The thing I, I hate about people when they talk about these movies is after the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre, these movies got pretty ridiculous. And the good thing about these and the other one I was talking about is they really bring it back to the horror aspect of it instead of the silliness, which I enjoyed. So these I did not mind. Uh, let's see, next. It's just kind of randomly thrown in here. I don't know where I got it from. It's the first season of Tales from the Crypt. I mean, you should know what that is and you should love it. Um, this movie, which falls into, again, with, like, Hostel. Um, I think it's pronounced Touristus. Uh, it's supposed to be in Tourist. Um, it's the first, 
little bit of the movie, like the first hour is decent, but after that it goes downhill. Um, next, an amazing movie that I actually, I might need to leave this out because I've been wanting to rewatch it here recently. Um, 13 Ghosts. I mean, I don't know what it is about this movie that I love so much. And I mean, a lot of people love this movie, honestly. Um, it's just a great movie, I don't know. Uh, next we have Strangers Pray at Night. Um, I didn't hate. Uh, it's definitely, it's not as good as the first one, but it's kind of a different vibe. I did like how it went with like the 80s vibe with the music and everything like that. Uh, next is Signs. I don't even feel like I need to discuss that movie. Uh, let's see, let me get all of these because do I have them all? Let's see. Feel like I don't know where the other one's at, but it's the Scream series. I have the first one somewhere. This is two, three, and four. Um, I liked one. I liked two. Three was okay, and after that, I give a shit. Uh, next is Split. Amazing movie. Um, definitely one of his better movies. But then you had uh, Glass, which was just a disappointment. <laughs> Uh, next is, I think this was a remake. I never watched the original. Uh, I will point out this is legit because it's a blockbuster rental DVD. Um, trash movie, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, I, don't, I think it's a remake. I think they had one in the 70s. But I never watched it. So uh, Next we have the complete Saw collection besides Jigsaw. Uh, I would say the first three in this are good. And then after that, it goes into the torture porn, which I really don't like. Um, next is Shark Night. Ridiculously shitty shark movie, which sucks because I love shark movies. Um, it's about like fucking uh, shark or uh, saltwater sharks, which are probably a real thing. I don't know, but it was just horrible. And it was PG-13, which you can't have a shark movie like that. Uh, next is a Stephen King's collection. It's got The Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, and Graveyard Shift. Um, I mean, they're all decent movies. I really like Silver Bullet, and it's probably one of my favorite Stephen King movies, honestly. Uh, next is Sinister 1 and 2. Um, 1, I really liked it. 2, it wasn't bad. Um, it's not as bad as people are saying it is. I think the problem with those, I really like Ethan Hawke, the actor. Um, and when it took him out, it just kind of lost me. Uh, next is one of my wife's favorite movies. And it's a re I love it too, and I don't know why, because it's so shitty. But it's uh, Stay Alive. Um, this is Frankie Muniz. I mean, there's a few known named people in this. And I don't know if it's because it's so cheesy or if it's because I love video games so much or what it is, but this movie's amazing. Uh, next, another movie my wife likes that I do not because it's like Grudge and Ring and I don't like those movies is uh, Shudder. So we're not even half, we're not even like, we've only done one and a half pile, guys, so this is going to be a while. Uh, next is The Shining. Don't need to discuss that. Next movie actually really surprised me. I found this movie on Netflix. Um, and I think I just bought it because it was cheap because I think it's still on Netflix. Um, if you like alien movies, like alien invasion movies, I would definitely check this one out. The second one actually is pretty good too. The CGI is really bad. But the movie itself is really good, I think. And that is Skyline. Um, uh, I don't know. It's just a really good movie, honestly. It's got a good story to it. Uh, next. I don't know why they're not... Where's the other ones? But I have the entire set of these somewhere, and I'll find them in a minute and talk about them. So first, we'll, we'll let's wait for these until I find the others, and we'll talk about them. Um, the Stepfather. Uh, not the worst movie in the world, but uh, The Skeleton Key. I do not enjoy this movie. My wife loves it. Uh, next is... Some of my favorite horror movies when I was a kid, which is sad. Um, and then it's a combo set from, uh, crap, what was the comp uh, Full Moon. It's Puppet Master 1 through uh, 
8, and then Killjoy 1 and three, one through 3. Killjoy's hilarious. Um, if you've never watched him, you just need to watch, get on YouTube and look him up. It's, it's fucking amazing. Um, and then Puppet Master's, I love Puppet Master. Um, another one, which is probably my favorite one and the cheesiest one, which is Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. Um, if you don't know anything about Full Moon, they make, and they do it on purpose, they make these ridiculous movies, um, because they have one, like, the killer, I don't know the names of them, but it's like the killer gingerbread man, all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Um, this movie, which I actually really like, which surprises me, because it goes in with those other, like, ring movies, um, but I really like this one, actually, and that is Pulse. It's a good movie. Uh, next we have the Resident Evils. So we got the Resident Evil, the four movie collection here. Um, most of these I enjoy. One and two I do, the other two are, are okay. Um, and then, didn't I already have, yeah. Sorry to talk about this one, this one's just like a special edition. Uh, it's the Apocalypse. Then we have the final chapter, which I will not discuss. I think I have a review on this from a couple years back. Fucking horrible movie you should have never be made. Next is a good Resident Evil movie, and that is Resident Evil Vendetta, which is a, a CGI movie. Um, if you like the Resident Evil games, definitely watch this. I think I have another one here somewhere. I don't know where it's at, though. Oh, here it is. Resident Evil uh, Generation. Another solid Resident Evil movie. If they'd make the live actions like those, we'd be solid. Uh, trash movie, The Roommate. Next we have Red Eye, which really isn't that bad of a movie. It's not, I don't even know if you'd really call it horror. Some of these, I don't know if you necessarily count as horror, but I do. But it's more of just a suspense movie. Um, next, which I need to do a review of this one too, so I need to set this aside. Um, probably my fa one of my favorite, like, guilty pleasure movies, or at least horror movies, and that is The Return of the Living Dead. I don't know why I love this movie so much, but I do, and uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, these, which like I said, I'm not a fan of, so we got Ring 1, uh, 2, and I think, isn't there a third one? So we have Rings here, um, which is the newest one, which honestly wasn't as bad as the other ones, but I'm still not a big fan of it, but I thought there was one in between that, but maybe not. Next we have, oh wait, here's another uh, Resident Evil animated, uh, Damnation. So if I remember, this is my, I think this is one of my favorites. Um, next we have uh, The Chronicles of Riddick. I'm sorry if you can hear me hiccuping. Uh, and then Riddick. Now a lot of people hate on this movie, the, just the one that's Riddick. Um, I love this one so much more than The Chronicles of Riddick. Now, I never, I think there was an anime and some stuff like that. I think I have one of the uh, animated movies in here, um, but I've never really watched them. This one, I did not like as much because of the, there's too much story. I kind of watched Pitch Black for the awesome Vin Dieselness, which is what this one was right here, and that's why I love this one so much. And then, two rows down with this one, A Quiet Place. Um, amazing movie. I mean, I was going to say it's underrated, but it's not really. People love this movie. Um, next is the uh, Predator Blu-ray through movie collection, The Stillbook. Um, another movie that I don't think really needs to be discussed because it's Predator. Um, Predators. Um, honestly, one of my favorites. Um, I thought this one was pretty good. Then we have, which one is this? This is also just the first three Predators. It's just non-Blu-ray. Oh, God, this movie. Uh, this is The Predator on 4K. I, I don't want to talk about that movie. Uh, next we have, which I finally watched. I hadn't watched this movie before. And I went on this little binge of watching all the Alien series movies. So I finally watched this one, and I really liked it, actually. And that is Prometheus. I had heard a lot of bad things about it when it first came out, so I never watched it, but I, I really like it. Uh, let's see. So my movies are kind of mixed up here, and it's going to bug me, but anyways. 
Um, the secret window, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, it's kind of another guilty pleasure of mine. Another zombie movie that I forgot to do a review on that I'll have to add to the list, um, and I actually really love this movie, and that is Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Um, it's definitely one of those cheesy zombie movies, which is why I love it so much. Um, here is Pitch Perfect, which I was talking about. Um, amazing movie. Um, CGI is meh, but everything else about it is pretty good. Um, another, I don't know why I have so many of these, but another Puppet Master collection. Uh, Pet Cemetery 2. I mean, it depend, what, depending on what you're going into this movie to see, you probably just saw my foot there. It's kind of going to sleep. Uh, depending on what you expect to see with this movie would determine if you liked it or not. Um, it's definitely a lot more silly than the original. So if you didn't want that, then you weren't going to like it. But um, And then we have the original on 4K. And then the new one that I haven't actually finished yet, so I'm not really going to say anything about it, but the remake on 4K. Uh, let's see, we have Poltergeist 1. I mean, classic movie. Two and three, which I don't think I've ever fully watched. Uh, and then the remake, which I feel like if it would have been, I don't know. I really don't have much opinion about this movie. I just didn't really care about it either way. Uh, next, a decent movie. This type of movie, like the Possession movie, which I don't usually like, is The Possession. Had Jeffrey Dean Morgan on it, so that definitely helped a lot. Uh, the Prom Night remake, trash. Uh, the an Ultimate Collection Paranormal Activity includes all five movies. Um, I mean, there some of them are neat. Um, the last one actually I liked, and I, it, I don't know why. It was just I don't know. <laughs> um, but we finally got to these movies that I was want to talk about earlier, and that is. The Purge, great movie. Uh, I don't remember which one's next, honestly. Uh, yep, this one. Anarchy, um, really good movie, not really horror. Um, after the first one, they kind of go into more action, but still a good movie. Um, then we have Election Year, and The Purge, A Nation Reborn. And I have the other purge in here, but I put it in a different order since it's um, the first purge, since I'm alphabetical. Um, decent movies, like I said. I mean, after the first one, they kind of go into more to action, but that's all right. Um, next, we have <clears throat> Overlord, which was a really interesting zombie movie. Um, the thing with this movie is if you went in expecting a zombie movie, you're going to be disappointed. So I was very disappointed when I watched it in theaters, but then when I decided to give it a try and buy it um, and watched it again at home, I liked it. Uh, One Missed Call, don't really care about it. The Orphan, or just Orphan. Uh, Ouija, Origin of Evil, super surprising movie. I love this movie. Because um, I know they, I don't have it, I don't think, but they did um, just Ouija, and this is like a prequel to it. Just the Ouija movie was ass, but I love that movie. Um, this movie, which is a really good movie, honestly, despite bad CGI. And sadly, I know, um, I can't remember his name right now. I was trying to see if it's in here. I know it is somewhere. Um, but sadly, he passed, the main character passed away, and that is Odd Thomas. Um, really, really bad CGI, but it was a very interesting story. It's definitely different, something, you know, they did try something different. Uh, My Bloody Valentine, the new one, or the remake, nothing really good there. This movie, which I actually really liked, um, it's been a while since I watched it, I might need to rewatch it, but that's uh, My Soul to Take. Next we have a two-pack, The Messengers and Silent Hill. Uh, Silent Hill is pretty good. Uh, the Messengers, I don't even know if I've ever fully watched it. Then we have Mirrors 1 and 2, I don't like either one of these. Uh, the Mummy Trilogy? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I liked the first one. That's about as far as it goes. The Remake, which I'm not going to talk about. Uh, Meg, or The Meg on 4K. I really like this movie, honestly. Um, like I said, I'm a big shark movie fan, Jaws, stuff like that. 
So whenever um, I saw that Jason Statham was going to be a movie about a megalodon, I was automatically in. Uh, Morgan, which I wasn't a big fan of this movie, but it is actually a really interesting movie. Um, I just couldn't get into it. Next, we have Lost Boys, and then I have a two-pack of it. Um, yeah, Lost Boys and Lost Boys, the, the tribe. Honestly, I liked all the Lost Boys movies. Obviously, they're not as good, obviously they're not as good as the first one, but I liked them all. Uh, the Lazarus Effect, which was a I, I liked it. Um, I think a decent cast is what helped this movie though, with a uh, Childish Gambino in it. Uh, Olivia Wilde's in it. I can't think of who she is right now, but I know her. And then, of course, Evan Peters. So that definitely helped. Um, Leatherface, which is another movie, like I said, of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies that I actually really liked. That one wasn't as horror -y, but it's still good. Um, Life, which another movie that... Very interesting concept. Could have been Venom. Um... But it, I don't know, interesting concept, just not that great. Um, Lights Out, a fantastic movie that a lot of people probably haven't watched. Um, but I really like that movie. Leprechaun, the seven movie collection. Fucking love Leprechaun, all of them. They're all great, except for Origin, that shit's trash. Um, Let Me In, I don't think I've ever fully watched that, it's my wife's. Krampus, which is an amazing movie. This is mine and my wife's like a Christmas tradition every year to watch that movie. I love that movie. Um, one that somehow got misplaced, and that is Kane in See No Evil. Um, really not a bad like teenage horror movie. Next is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So we are about halfway there. So I guess I'll start kind of pushing through some of these some more. Um, Jaws, obviously everyone should know what that is. Jennifer's Body, kind of like a guilty pleasure movie for me, I guess. Uh, Joyride 1 through 3, another series that started good and then went to torture porn. Uh, next we have Jason Goes to Hell, one of the worst ones in the franchise. Uh, Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2, I, I like both of these pretty well actually. I thought they were good movies. Uh, the original It, and then the new one, both movies I enjoy. Um, Into the Storm, which I actually thought was a pretty good uh, disaster movie. Uh, the Invisible, um, another movie that I don't necessarily know if you count as horror, but I really like that movie, actually. Um, the Island, another movie that I don't know why it's actually in here, but it is. Um, the Three... I know what you did last summer movies. Um, I mean, they are exactly as what you would think they are there. Uh, next, we have the Insidious movies. We have Insidious 1, uh, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and The Last Key. Um, I liked them. The uh, Last Key wasn't great, but it's not bad. Next is House of Wax, which is, I mean, I guess really, is, I mean, they explained it perfectly on here. Hot, sexy, deliciously creepy horror. <laughs> I don't know. Um, one of my favorite, and honestly one of the few movies I like in this genre, The Haunting in Connecticut. Great ghost movie. I recommend it highly. Next is Hostel 1 and 2. Um, another series that's torture porn um, but they're not as bad as some of the other ones uh, next is House of Honda Hill and Return of course remakes um, I, I enjoyed the first one the second one's honestly not bad it's just I don't know it's just one of those like major TV movies which I think it was uh, next is Hill Hellfest on 4k um, I've kind of talked about that a little bit it's an okay movie um, Hannibal Rock Hannibal Rising. Oh, I couldn't say that. Haven't ever watched it. <laughs> um, I like the other ones, but I've just never watched that one. Um, Hide and Seek, 
which I watched a really long time ago and I do not remember anything about it. <laughs> then we have The Hitcher, another remake. Um, not horrible, honestly. I, I really enjoyed that movie. And then we have The Hills Have Eyes 1 and 2, more remakes. Um, the first one's not bad, the second one, it's okay. Um, then we have, I don't know why I have it. Oh, I don't know. just confused myself for a second. Let me grab the rest of these and I can just do them all at once. There we go. So first we have, if I can keep them in their sleeves. First we have the Halloween series by Rob Zombie. Um, decent movies. Um, the first one is definitely way better. Then the sequel, um, the sequel gets into some weird stuff with him seeing his mom and visions. Then we have the newest one on 4K. I was disappointed with this movie, but it wasn't horrible. It was just, it wasn't as good as I was hoping. Then we have the Halloween, the complete collection on Blu-ray. Um, this is all of them all the way down to, it's actually got Halloween 1 and 2, except they're on, or the remakes, but they're on Blu-ray. Um, then we have Happy Death Day 1 and 2. Um, amazing movie for what it, like, I was really surprised with this movie. And the sequel, not so much. Uh, the Happening, the funniest horror movie in the world. I loved it. Uh, one set of movies that I will not watch, and I will never watch, um, because they terrify me. And that is Hellraiser. I fucking hate that movie. Uh... So will those stay? I hope so. Next we have, I don't know, I don't, these are just kind of randomly in here. Um, there are two four movie packs of the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Um, and then I have, go ahead and do this. It's um, a collector's edition of the Nightmare on Elm Street. I really need to get these in Blu-ray. Um, I don't think they've made them in 4K. The best part was this is it comes with um, 3D glasses, which I actually might keep them put on display. Uh, but uh, I need to find these on Blu-rays. But this is a really cool set. I don't know if you can see in the video, but it makes him. So those are cool. Uh, put those over there because they're in the wrong place. Um, <clears throat> Gremlins 1 and 2. The second one I'm a big fan of. The first one, I mean, it's an amazing movie. Um, and then here's the other uh, Riddick movie I was talking about that I haven't watched. Uh, Dark Fury. It's like an animated one. Uh, next we have Ghost Ship. It's an amazingly cheesy horror movie that was actually really fun to watch. Uh, then we have Get Out, which I already discussed. The Forgotten, which I don't think I've ever watched. Um, the Fright Night remake, which also has the same guy I was talking about, and Odd Thomas, um, Aton... Helchin, I think so. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, but he passed away a few years ago. Um, amazing actor, um, and he's in the Fright Night remake, which really wasn't as bad, in my opinion, as people say. Um, then these, they're placed here randomly, so let's go and do them. Um, Friday 13th Part 3, 3D. Does come with some 3D glasses. Horrible movie. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, all these movies are kind of horrible in this series, I think, and I love them. Uh, the final chapter. And then we have The Fly 1 and 2, which I've never watched the second one, which I recently just got this little two-pack. Um, Friday the 13th Part 2, uh, really good one. Freddy vs. Jason, which a lot of people hated it, but I loved it. Next, let me grab all of these because there's quite a few of them. We have Final Destination 1, 2, uh, 3, uh, 4, which is just the Final Destination, and 5. Um, I honestly enjoy all those movies. I know a lot of people hate on them, but I, I enjoyed them. They're fun to watch. Um, the original Flatliners. Um, better than the remake, but still not a great movie. The Eye, which my wife loves and also freaks her out. Uh, let's 
see. Let me get all these here. My favorite series, or one of them. Um, this one not as much, but it's still good. Uh, Evil Dead the remake. Still wasn't a bad movie. Um, and then we have Evil Dead 1. Well, I guess both these, yeah, both these are one. This one's just on 4K. Uh, one of my favorite movies ever. Sequel's here somewhere, I just don't know where. Um, this movie sounds like it's broken, but it's not. Um, Daybreakers, another movie with Ethan Hawk, Hawk in it. Um, I thought it was a really good vampire movie, honestly. Definitely a different take on them. Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight, um, Billy Zane, I mean, good movie. Next we have Dead Silence, which is another movie I actually really enjoyed. Um, a lot of people didn't, but I do. Um, Day of the Dead, which I just recently did a review on. Uh, what we got here? The Darkest Hour. Um, it's been a long time since I watched it. I don't think it was that bad, but uh, Dawn of the Dead, which I've done a review on. Uh, here's the sequel to Unfriended, which, like I said, isn't really a bad movie. Um, it's just a different... It's not as scary. Um, this movie, which I wanted it to be good, but I guess I should have known it wasn't, and that is Death House. Um, it's got some amazing classics in here. Cade Howder, uh, D. Wallace, Bill Mosley. Um, but it was, <laughs> it was trash. Uh, Darkness. I know I watched this movie a long time ago. I don't remember much about it. Uh, Darkness Falls, basically a killer tooth fairy movie. Uh, another set that I don't necessarily know if it should have been here, but it's here, and that is Dark Man. I have not watched this in probably 10 years. Um, so I, I don't really want to say anything about it because I haven't watched it forever. A uh, movie that I don't think I've ever fully watched, but another Tooth Fairy movie, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Uh, Drag Me to Hell. It wasn't horrible. Ooh, get some of these. We got one more pile, guys. Um, this is probably one of my next um, reviews. If I can never finish, watch it again. It's Diary of the Dead. Uh, Carriers which I just recently got, and I don't remember if I liked it or not, so I need to watch it. Um, Cursed. Honestly, not that bad of a movie. I feel like it's a little underrated. Um, but like I said, I love werewolves and stuff like that, so. Um, Cry Wolf. Really bad movie, but I love it at the same time. Um, Cabin in the Woods. I don't feel like I should have discussed this movie. It's amazing. Go watch it. Case 39. Never watched. Um, then we have the uh, Chucky, the complete collection. Or it's up to curse the Chucky. Um, another series that started off good. Kind of went downhill. But then in my opinion, came back with um, Curse the Chucky and Cult to Chucky. Definitely terrifying movies. Or terrifying for the Child's Play You movies at least. Um, Carrie remake it is what it is with that one. Um, this movie, which is so ridiculous, but I love it, and that is Broken Lizards um, Club Dread, which is also made um, Super Troopers. This movie is so stupid. <laughs> um, won't even talk about that. Uh, the Collection. I don't have the other one, um, but these movies actually aren't that bad to be solid type like movies. Just terrifying. Uh, the first two, I guess the only two Conjuring movies. Um, good movies. I didn't have any problem with them. Uh, Butterfly Effect 1 and 2. One's good. Two's ass. Uh, Bloodfest, which I just recently did a review for. Um, the Boy. Um, it. I didn't like the ending. But it really wasn't that bad of a movie. Boogeyman. Um, when I was a kid, well, one, this movie terrified me, and two, it, it was a decent movie, but as it doesn't age well. The remake of Black Christmas, which I did not think was that horrible. Um, not as good as the original, but not that bad. 
another movie that I will not talk about. Uh, the first, or no, this is season two. Season uh, three is down there. I'll talk about it in a second. Or season two. The first, first season. God. As for Evil Dead. Amazing. AVP one and two. Um, I honestly did not mind the first one. I thought it was decent, but the second one was just ridiculous. Um, Aliens 1 through 4. Uh, 1 and 2, amazing. Honestly, I think I like 2 more, um, but the rest not so much. We got the remake of Annabelle Horror with Ryan Reynolds. <sighs> Ryan Reynolds made this movie good. Let's just put it that way. Um, another werewolf movie that most people probably hated, but I enjoyed. American Werewolf in Paris. Um, then another movie to go into my favorite uh, category, or series, I guess, is Army of Darkness. I just recently met Bruce Campbell not that long ago. It's really awesome. Uh, the first season of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Alright, guys, we're on the home stretch here. So now we have the original Alien on 4K. Um, the original Alien on Blu-ray. Uh, Covenant wasn't as good as Prometheus, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. Annabelle, which has fallen out of her case for some reason. I don't know. Um, Annabelle Creation. I really like this movie. The, first, the original Annabelle sucked, but this one's really good. Uh, American Psycho. I mean, one of his best portrayals ever. Not necessarily his best movie, but definitely one of his best acting. Uh, American Haunting, which I've never fully watched. I think the reason I bought this is because it's based on the Bell Witch of Tennessee. And that's where I'm from, it's Tennessee. So Then we just have this random four-pack, uh, the Texas Chainsaw, the remake of Not Brown Elm Street, which is Ass Amusement. Some of the stories are entertaining in that one. And then Friday 13th, the remake, which I did not hate. Okay, then we have Friday 13th, 1, 2, 3D, and the final chapter again. Uh, 30 Days of Night, Dark Days. I don't know why I have this one, and I don't have the first one, because I actually really enjoyed the first one, but this one sucked. Um, 31 by Rob Zombie, which I just recently watched. Um, not bad. Definitely not one of his best, but not a bad movie. And then I think this is the last one, guys, and that is 1408, uh, the Stephen King short novel. John Cusack, Samuel Jackson. I love this movie. Um, they, I read the book for this. They had to add in a lot to this movie for it to be a movie because the book was so short. Um, but not bad, honestly. I thought it was good. And I think... Oh, no, I forgot one. I don't know why I was here. Um, the most terrifying movie that I've watched recently, and that is Event Horizon. This movie scares the shit out of me. Um, but that's it, you guys. Um, I'm missing one movie that I noticed that I was doing this, and that is Evil Dead Part 2. I know it's here somewhere, I just don't know where we're at. Um, but that is my movie collection, guys. Uh, like I said, I know this is a really long video, and I apologize for that, but I just figured you guys like to see what I got, because um, I have quite a bit of horror movies, and like I said, this is just horror. I mean, we have hundreds of other movies. This is just the horror genre. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.